So hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn how to integrate an animated timeline to a Streamlit web app. Uh, this is something uh, similar to carousals in Bootstrap. So let's see how will it look like. So this is our timeline where you can see the dates present, the headline of the event, and a small paragraph around that event alongside some graphics. Uh, now this is swipeable as well. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so let's get started and follow up the steps that we must follow to build something like this and integrate with Streamlit. So first of all, we need to create a JSON object. Now, this JSON object, in this JSON object, we will have multiple uh, dictionary sort of elements that will represent our event. Now, in each event, we will have three elements present. One is the start date, that is, even you can put the end date as well. Uh, one is the start date, uh, which will comprise of year, month, and day. The end date would look would also look something similar to it. If you wish to put it, you put it, else there is no mandatory requirement. The second element of each live event would be a media file, which would consist of a URL as well as the credit for that file. And the third word being the text. Now in the text, you will have a headline that will appear in bold as well as a small text around a small description, uh, which will appear more as a paragraph. Now. In this events object, you can have multiple objects coming, uh, live events coming in uh, that are indexed by 0, 1, 2, 3. Each of them are live events that I have added in my uh, JSON file. So you can see the actual format here start date, year, and media headlines getting, and once this over, then you can. It's more of a dictionary of dictionaries that we have created, where each internal dictionary represents a live event. Once done, you need to store it in some JSON file. I you call it a timeline.json file. Now uh, we are done with the JSON file format. Now we need to integrate this JSON file uh, in a Streamlit web app. For this, we need to pip, pip install a library called a Streamlit timeline. Uh, once we are done with pip installing this, we need to add just a couple of line of code. That is, we need to open this JSON file with open. Uh, we need to read its content and we need to call the in, uh, inbuilt function called as timeline coming from streamlit underscore timeline function. And finally, you can have something like this on your web website as well. 